Hi, I'm John Lira, and in this demo, I use Informatica Power Center to show you how to use the Power Center command language to convert the workflows or session log files, which are in binary, into text format. The steps are pretty straightforward. You change directory wherever your administrator has installed Power Center, and then the secret really are the commands and knowing how to use them. I will be using the infocmd.bat and the command itself is convert log the input session log file name. In this case I will be using the session logs. You, don't, it, you, could, it, you could also use the workflows and then I tell it that I want the format text and then its output file name that you want to give it to. A couple notes. You could set up the info home environment variable to make using these commands easier and if you were using Unix or Linux you would use the infocmd.sh instead of the bat and why is this useful because this will allow you to script or automate converting the log files into text so that you can use them for parsing as input to other systems or archival let's get going let's go to the demo here I have a workflow already and just for convenience let me just show you where my administrator has configured my power center for the info share directory so under the info share directory I have the session logs and notice that it's empty now I'm gonna go back to the workflow now some of you know this from your basic power center training that if you open a session log file you can see the name of the session log file which will be in binary and its location likewise you could also go to the workflow edit and also you can set the workflow log file so again you that's where you set it and that comes from your basic training class and now notice that if I run this workflow right here let me just run this workflow it's going to bring up the monitor and then you'll see that you'll see that when it runs it let me just close that one and let me just close a few of these log files I had already run this earlier and so here's the monitor you see that I just ran this and notice that you can get either the workflow log file or the session log file since I'm only showing you the session log file let me get it and notice you get the session log but it's reading the file now what do I want to do? Well, we want to make sure that this is saved as text. Notice I could always save it as text here by clicking. But we want to automate that. We don't want to do it manually. So we want to write the command so that it does this automatically so we can script it. So let's quickly go to the session logs and you'll see that there is the session log file in binary and if you try to open it you will not be able to read it it's in binary so we want to convert that file through commands so that we can actually read it and so I've already done this earlier I'll go to the command window and this is the command that I want to execute earlier I showed you that what I want to do is execute the info cmd.bad convert log file its input and output and instead of me typing it directly in the command window what I did is I wrote it in a bat file so I merely execute that bat file and let it run and now if it's successful you'll see the word successfully completed now let's go back to the session log directory and there it is the same binary session log file has been converted to something that I gave it the name of my text log file dot text and if I open this now you will be able to read it and that's it a very short demonstration of how to convert this and again I, re I repeat some of the benefits you may have to for regulatory purposes or your corporate structure governance you may have to archive these you may have to save these you may be able to you may be asked to open these files and look for data in them or parse them these files may be input to other systems so this is the way that you would automate it and again the command was very straightforward it was the info cmd dot bat convert log file and that's all I want to show you thank you and until next time